All right. Food time. Let's sit with Kenny. Please tell me if we're not going to get drugged and then we're going to yeah. get cut up and eaten. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oop. Ah. Hit. Ah, I have a choice. Shit. <laughs> I want to know about Kenny, but I also want to sit there. I'm sitting with Kenny. Here you go, Clem. I'm sorry. I'll spend more time with you. Yeah, I swear. We're just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke. He in charge. You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. He's a good guy. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. Kenny, are you okay? Please tell me you're not gonna be a villain. Big Al? He said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. I've been They'll seen go with them. And you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. I Excuse me? Friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Kenny. The fuck is going on, man? I know I'm from your past, but I'm not going to sit here and stay with you. Hey guys. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> All right, Kenny, that's gross. So it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. Kenny. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? I'm getting a bad feeling Wellington? from Kenny. The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. Oh, I don't God. Know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take <sighs> off. More. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Guys! It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. Please, don't fight. What is up with everybody? Fuck! Oh, please, there's no need for this. Now, look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Why do you want us to eat so bad? Kenny. Pass me that can, duck. Mm. <gasps> Kenny! Oh my god! Hey, duck? Who's duck? Leave him alone, Luke. I'll tell you later. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Sure. I'm having a feeling that Kenny's going kind of cuckoo and he's trying to replace his family. That's creepy. But that's the vibe I'm getting. If I'm right, I'm giving up. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Sure. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> I know you this. You really think everyone can just get along? You can hope. Like it, the, the apocalypse the would be way easier. 
I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Mm. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My I'm leaving in the morning. In quite the literature collection. I'm staying with my Why? current people. I've lived without Kenny in any case, for this while. Is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. I've been through too much, man! What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? <sighs> you can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. Sure thing. I can promise you that. You're right. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And sure. Everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Hey, Kenny. Oh, politics. The hell? <laughs> Being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. True that. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Yeah, I'll come with. Who is that? Miss? Oh my god, it's you! You're from 400 days! I didn't play that yet, by the way. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for, Check weapons. Her for weapons. Yeah. I ain't no idiot. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I should have played 400 days before this! I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older. 11. That's, yeah, me too. That's what this world does to you, man. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. See ya, Bonnie. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Kenny's gonna shoot him. He's gonna go missing. And then they're gonna be like, oh, Kenny lost his mind. I'm really getting that vibe that Kenny's gonna lose his fucking mind, okay? I don't know what it is, but I just feel it. He has a little of the Larry look. A little of his daughter's look. Oh shit. Don't freak out. What? Listen. Yeah, I gotta tell you something. What's up? That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh, fuck. I knew he looked like a nice guy! Something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Shit. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. Kenny's gonna kill him. I don't think Walter knows yet. So we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. <sighs> we should tell him. If we don't, he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna find out. Him, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Shit. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run in her feet. Can I just get rid of the oh, sheath? And, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, 
It's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. I'm showing him the fucking photo! You talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus. I can't handle this. Okay. Look, Clem. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Go do that thing. All right. All right.